In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to go over how you can insert a door into a curtain wall. Uh, what I have here is just a basic, um, simple curtain wall that I've drawn the grid on and added some mullions to. If I switch to a east elevation so I can see it better, um, you can see that I've left kind of a big gap for a you know big double door to go into or something like that. Um, and the one change I might want to make to it, uh, well, among other things, I might want to switch this grid pattern around or something, but I really would like to get rid of this mullion. Uh, if I was going to put a door here, that would be kind of a trip hazard. So I might just hit the delete key on that one. Uh, but you'll also see while I was in there, um, if I click on one of these mullions, you get to edit them a little bit. So I could say that I would like to make that continuous, for example. And when I did that, instead of the vertical line cutting through, now the horizontal line does. Um, so just know that after you get those in place, you can make changes to them. Now, in terms of putting a door in, the first thing I'm going to want to do is actually load a door. Uh, so if I go to either the door tool or go to insert and load family, I can get to it. So I'm going to say I want to add a door and then I want to load family. I'm going to go into doors. And then what I'm looking for here is the curtain wall doors. They're different than the standard, you know, oak or wood doors or whatever they might be. So I can pick which kind I want. So maybe I'll just say I want to do a kind of simple curtain wall double glass door. I'll open that up. And now I should have that available. So I'm just going to get out of that place door. And the process for putting a door in is just a little bit different. To put a, uh, a door in a curtain wall, what we need to do is select the panel we're interested in and essentially then just replace it. So I'm going to hover over the edge of this panel, this big panel here, and I will tap the tab key until that panel highlights and then I'll click. So that panel of glass is now active. You'll see in the properties, the type selector, that it says system panel glaze. It means it's you know, just a simple panel, it's a piece of glass. When I hit that drop down now, I should be able to find my curtain wall double glass door, select it, and now it will replace that panel with a piece of um, well, rather a door, two pieces of glass is what I'm trying to say. So here it's showing the hinges, that's what those dotted lines are. And now here's my really enormous double glass door. If I uh, switch to a 3D view, there you can see that now instead of having one giant piece of glass, we have two uh, extremely tall glass doors.